Why are this and this the key to the NBA's future success? Stay tuned to find out. Maybe it's just me, but esports have never really interested me in the past. Maybe because they don't look anything like normal, regular sports. I think Chance the Rapper on Saturday Night Live explained it best. How you feeling down there, Laz? Uh, confused, huh? <laughs> to be honest, when they asked me to cover the League of Legends tournament, I assumed it was a basketball game with NBA legends. This is not that. Uh, it is a computer game contest. <laughs> yeah, a little different. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, I brought a basketball to get signed, and someone in the crowd here asked me, what this was. Esports has become one of the hottest industries in the world. There's countless athletes, countless celebrities, putting lots of money into different players, different teams that you see on a global scale. Not only that, but some of these players are actually becoming such big names, they're signing sponsorship deals with some of the biggest brands you've heard of. You see your Joel Embiid's, your Gordon Hayward's, your De'Aaron Fox. These are NBA players all showing that they want to be gamers as well. It kind of reminds me of back in the day when all the NBA players actually wanted to be rappers. You had Allen Iverson, more recently you've had Damian Lillard, and then now you have you know Shaquille O'Neal, Shaq Fu, Big Aristotle, Big Cactus, Superman. I, I, I don't know what to call you anymore. Do you remember as a kid growing up and getting that perfect package under the tree? You'd run down the stairs and you'd open it up and you'd see that game console that you'd been waiting for for so long. And at the time it was seen as just a way to distract yourself and you know have a little bit of fun. But nowadays it's actually seen as a way to make money for thousands and thousands of gamers. In 1993, one of the most influential basketball games ever was released. NBA Jam featured two-on-two -two play with one of the most insane big head cheat codes of all time, and it's just an over-the-top play style. Phrases like, he's on fire, and boom shakalaka are still used in TV broadcasts till this day. NBA games continue to get more and more realistic. First you had NBA Live, and then you have NBA 2K set as that gold stamp. In 2017, Adam Silver announced the NBA 2K League in partnership with Take-Two Interactive, the creators of NBA 2K. Now this was the first time that an eSport was supported fully by a professional sports league. Adam Silver coined it the fourth league behind the NBA, the WNBA, the G League, and now the NBA 2K League. Not only that, but he actually announced the picks of the very first NBA 2K draft, and he had people like ESPN Insider Waj dropping bombs about who the next first pick was gonna be. The league started initially with 17 teams. Not only that, but all the games are actually streamed on YouTube and Twitch. So they're not dealing with your traditional networks like a CBS or an NBC or a Fox. They know that the gamers and their consumers, the younger consumers are finding their content on those online platforms. The 2K League has done everything it can to try to imitate its real life counterpart, including having a combine where players try out to make it to the draft. And then once the players are drafted, then they get to wear the cool little hats. They get to hug their parents like they're really going on to a real professional franchise. They also have super hyped intros where they get to get their name called out and go onto the stage. And of course, there's an occasional fight. The league has also signed some major sponsorship deals, including Bud Light, AT&T, and Snickers. Not only that, but they've signed a deal with Champion in 2019 for them to be their exclusive jersey provider. If you're looking to support your local team, it's very easy to buy gear on fanatics.com, newera.com, pretty much anywhere that you would find normal NBA gear. They have all the hats, they have all the t-shirts, so they're really making themselves a real traditional sport in that sense. For the first year of the NBA 2K League, first round picks were paid a base salary of $35,000, while everybody else was paid a base salary of $32,000. Now they also cover your healthcare, your travel, your lodging, because you actually moved to the specific city of the team that you were drafted in. So they really cover all your expenses. And then there are four tournaments during the year. There's three regulars and a championship tournament that has a prize pool of up to one million dollars. Here's a quote from Ted Leonsis, the owner of the Washington Wizards. I believe that in 10 years, one NBA 2K player will be more well-known, popular, and better compensated than LeBron James is today. These esports players are developing social media handles, they're developing personalities, they're online, and anyone can watch and participate. Having such a big esports league is great for the NBA because it not only gets people to, you know, understand their brand a little bit more, but it also gets players to play the game and see the NBA in a new light. In 2018, the NBA signed a three-year deal with the MGM brand, allowing them to use the NBA and the WNBA logos 
and trademarks in all states that allow for gambling. Now this is a huge step because it shows that the country is getting more and more used to the idea of gambling. Just last week, the Nevada Gaming Control Board granted approval to offer wages on a Counter-Strike League in North America. Previously, esports gambling had existed, but not on a full league, only on specific tournaments. The next day, DraftKings came up with their own Counter-Strike Daily Fantasy League after the news was broken. Now, betting on 2K League games is illegal at the moment, but just seeing this huge deal in Nevada, I can definitely see this happening in the future. Since Adam Silver has been named the commissioner of the NBA, the league has been way more progressive. They added sponsorship on jerseys. They've been more and more vocal about allowing gambling on games in the future. I definitely see the league really leaning towards that way. It was just announced that the NBA is hosting a players only 2K league that's gonna be showcased on ESPN keeps the NBA in the news when there aren't any other sports around. The NBA 2K League is built perfectly for gambling because first off, you only have one game per week, which means you only have to set your lineup once per week. Second off, injuries are almost non-existent unless some guy sprains his thumb playing 2K. For the most part, you don't have to worry about that. And third, you can watch multiple games in the same amount of time as one NBA game, which is more action and it's constantly moving. NBA 2K is not the most popular esport by any means, but I think it was a very smart investment by Adam Silver and the NBA to get involved in this because they see the potential in esports and they know that it brings a younger consumer to the game of basketball and that's what it's all about. It also brings a more international consumer. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.